Now the thing that is um, is interesting to note that these do punch well above their weight considering they have no rear reflector. Now while the rear reflector on a standard aerial is efficient in picking up between 50 and 70% of the incoming signal, uh, the rear reflector on a digital TV aerial is also efficient at picking up unwanted signals such as impulse noise or what we call in the trade as uh, co-channel interference. So for example, if you're near um, a mobile phone mast or some other type of transmitter, the rear reflector will pick up that impulse noise and therefore degrade the quality of the desired digital TV signal. The log periodic and its unique design avoids that issue. So these type of aerials are usually a better choice when you're looking at quality over quantity. They will reject most of the co-channel interference and they are finely tuned to receive the digital TV signal in a nice clean fashion. So that's the one thing that uh, is particularly desirable about the log periodic design. One of the other great things about these aerials is they often work very well in loft spaces. So in a loft, generally speaking, the signal is compromised in an indoor space, uh, but because these uh, have a very good uh, signal to noise ratio, they will hold and maintain whatever signals available in a loft um, a lot more efficiently than a different type of aerial, for, for example, a typical reflector type aerial with the large reflector on the back. So often we will use these in loft spaces because they work very efficiently. The other great thing about the log periodic aerial that's worthy of consideration is its uh, size. It's not very big. Um, because there's no rear reflector on the back of the boom arm here, it will fit into the smallest of spaces. So for example, if you're fitting it uh, under um, the eaves or you know under some sort of joist or beam in the roof space, you've got a lot more uh, versatility here in fitting this aerial into smaller spaces where an aerial with a large reflector on the back would be much more difficult to install in a loft space.